care. I don't really care what the consequences are. It doesn't really matter at this point, because I've had enough. I know, they might not like it. The tube might hate it, but we re Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Ration Nerd. As you can see, there's not anything sitting on the table. There's about to be, but we've got to talk about this horse shit. Let me tell you what. So, before I get into the rant, because that's exactly what this is, this is an absolute rant. Before I get onto the rant, we did just get an Australian menu number D. Look for that in the future. Actually, really excited to get into this second Australian ration for the channel and getting a different menu is really exciting and excellent. So, stay tuned for that. <sighs> However, I'm pretty sick and goddamn tired of spending my hard-earned triple quadruple taxed money in this country for a shitty organization like customs to take some shit that i ordered from somewhere else that's not illegal it's not like i'm ordering drugs i ain't ordering weapons i'm not ordering explosives I'm not doing anything stupid i'm just ordering some fucking food and what do i get i get some filthy some bitches opening up my goddamn rations putting their filthy ass hands inside of them and taking my shit that I bought with my tax dollars. As much food as we import from Brazil, you mean to tell me you think for one second the Brazilian government is going to poison their soldiers? Uh, fun fact, Brazil does not have anywhere near the amount of soldiers that we do here in the United States. You think that Brazil is going to feed infectious or infected food to the few soldiers they have in comparison to countries like the United States. So do you think it's really appropriate for you to take the meat items out of these rations? Let's just say this. This ration had every single solitary main taken out of it, and there's still a pretty substantial amount of stuff in there. This ration was open, and there is almost nothing fucking left. So you're not telling me that some dirty cocksucker at customs is not munching on my excellent Brazilian military stuff right now because they totally are. And this is absolute horse shit. This is not what I pay tax dollars for. We have a wide open border, southern and northern. Anybody that wants to can just stroll the fuck on in our country and bring whatever they want with them, let alone whatever fucking diseases they may be carrying. But I can't order a professionally packaged, bagged ration from Brazil. But we can import, I don't know, millions of pounds of meat and other items from Brazil every year. But I can't have these two bags of food. These rations cost about $120 a piece. I ordered two of them from two different sellers, so maybe one of them would get to me intact. But Customs was having none of that. Those fine men and women over there at the U.S. Customs Enforcement Department doing their fucking job to make sure that we don't get any infected meat in the country. Meanwhile, you can just walk right in. And you could probably walk across the southern border with a pox-laden cow. Like, just boils hanging off of it, just squirting shit everywhere. Nobody'd stop you. You could ride that motherfucker across the border and it would make zero difference. But what do I get? $240 before shipping of bullshit that somebody else has laid their hands on. Now I know this isn't a funny video because I'm not really in the mood right now to be funny about this. <sighs> you guys wonder why I always talk about the ration game? This is why, this is absolutely why. Because I'm really sick of nonsense like this happening to somebody like me all I'm doing is making goofy videos about military rations. And what do I get? I get some cocksuckers at customs taking my stuff. For what? For absolutely no realistic reason. And it brings disease and that kind of bullshit. This is professionally packaged, retort technology food or canned, both of which are done in extremely high temperatures. It's ridiculous. Like I said, you could ride a pox-ridden cow across the northern or southern border. Would anybody stop you? No. But I can't bring a fucking military ration inside of the country to do a goofy video to entertain my community on YouTube without just getting raped. Like, somebody at Customs is having a ball right now. A ball. They're drinking my fucking coffee. 
they're eating my snacks, they're drinking my drink mixes, and they're probably eating the fucking mains, because they don't really give a fuck. In short, all I want to say is when you, you take my tax money, and that money has been taxed an endless number of times before it ever even leaves my possession to purchase something like this, and then we pay taxes on it, and that tax money goes to some ridiculous organization like Customs. If I was importing kilos of cocaine in this military ration, I could completely understand that. But you know what these were before they got to Customs? Completely unopened, sealed bags of food. On that note, all my friends, my close allies, my fellow U.S. taxpaying citizens over at the Customs Department, enjoy your lunch. And I hope your genitalia falls off. So that's it for Ration Nerd and this short little rant for today. And if you like what I'm doing here on this channel with, well, fucking rations that were already open, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, commiserate with me in the chat about how much custom sucks my cock. I will see you on the next video. And if you can actually manage to get something this cool inside of this fucked up country to eat, you absolutely know what to do. Punch customs in the dick.